everybody. Um, so, oh my God. So this is actually two creative conversations in one day. So I'm so excited. So, um, hi, creatives. Uh, my name is Hollis. <laughs> and this is Cattell. Yes! <laughs> and this is Creative Conversations. And this is what I started this, being inspired to have people connect, to have people share stories, and for people to inspire each other um, about what creativity is beyond in so many different mediums. So, which is, I just actually met Cattell. Yeah. <laughs> so we literally just met about a half an hour ago. Um, By a so. creative, an extraordinary creative process, I can tell you. <laughs> so this is the beauty of all of this. So, um, what I find amazing about all this is the sharing of stories and people inspiring each other. So, on that note, um, I will be introducing, well, I already did introduce her, but she's going to go into a little bit of detail about what she does. And then I ask my guests three questions. Um, how do you define creativity? How do you incorporate it into your life? And why do you think it's important? And we're going to see how the conversation goes. Okay. So, on that note, okay. go tell. Yes, hello, Kali. <laughs> oh, holy, holy. Oh, oh, what do you say? Holy. Hollis. Hollis. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wow, it's, yes. A, it's a beautiful name, actually. <laughs> and hello, audience, and lovely audience. <laughs> So uh, tell us about a little bit about what you do. We yeah. were just talking for a while. But. Okay. So my name is Cattell. Um, Cattell Gringoire Gabizon. Wow. <laughs> this is a, a French name. I'm, I'm actually, uh, this is where I come from. I'm an image consultant. And what I do is I empower um, men and women also on um, achieving their personal and professional goals through the visual and nonverbal communication aspect. Um, yeah, non-verbal communication aspect of, of, of image. So they can, it can be, you know, um, uh, it can be style, it can be dressing, it can be colors, it can be uh, postures, gestures. Do you match people's colors? Absolutely. When you, the colors that works best on, on, on you. Though, you know, they say, as the saying goes, uh, um, there's only one color that suits you. It's the, the there's only the, the best color that suits you. It's the the color that. Oh, sorry. Um, okay, this is this is direct video, so I messed up. Sorry for that. So let me do that again. So. The best color for you is the one that suits you. Voila. There you go. Voila. Voila. <laughs> so leading into that, we're going to dive into our first question, yeah. which is, how do you define creativity? Yeah. Creativity for me is comes with passion, really. To be passionate about what you do and to be really focused. I've noticed that when I'm passionate about something, I always come with very creative ideas. Yes. And, yes, 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 and, yes. I think and that's this key. is really and, and this is when you come out of your comfort zone actually. When you're passionate about something, I remember uh, as a kid, you know, very early as a kid, you know, I was always um, doing things with passion. I've done, I've saved animals, you know, I've saved, I've saved the birds, I nourish them. And I tried to nourish them with something that was not good for them. They died. Poor. So, but I was creative. You know, I wanted to save these animals. So you had the intention. You had this nurturing intent. Oh, when did I help? Absolutely. When did I help? I, you know, created. I had my. Oh, that's kind of funny. You know, I had this crazy idea. Of, um, I feel so bad now after the, after the, this, these years. That, you know, I I had a cat and um, kitten, kitten. My my brother and I, I had kittens, and I was wondering what the, what it would do for a for a cat to have a hair hair cut. Yeah. You didn't cut I its did. whiskers, did you? I did. <gasps> it couldn't walk, it lost its balance. That's exactly. <laughs> oh God. But I didn't know, you know. I just wanted, as an image consultant, you know, I already had the, the feeling that, it, you know, I could make his life, you know, 
better. <laughs> so, but I've done things less silly and more appropriate, you know. Um, so it started when you were young. Yes. His passion. So, His passion yeah. was when you were young. Yeah. So now, as an adult, I'm 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 more serious in in the in image, you know. I'm not. She doesn't you know, hurt animals. So no, I don't. No I don't. I love them so much, you know. And we don't as, need anybody coming after us. Actually, I'm, I'm a vegetarian. Me too. Yeah. So you know, and and one of the reasons I don't eat meat or is, is that I don't want to hurt animals. Okay. So we'll move on. So it's about passion for you. So you do yeah. find creativity passion. by passion. Yeah, and you and you can find this in every every area of every everyone in every walk of life. You know, if you are passionate about something, you find a solution. It might be. A practical or a operation, how could I say, a practical solution, or it can be an intellectual, mental solution. This is creativity coming up with an idea. Yes. Is you have a. That's actually the definition knowledge. of create. Like if you were to look it up in an, in the dictionary, in dictionary, it actually says that creativity is the formation of an idea or an object. So yes. that's the traditional yeah. definition. Yeah. So you have a. You have the big picture, you don't know how to do it, but people, Steve Jobs created the iPhone because he had a specific and, and very, very uh, specific idea of what, where he wanted to go and what he wanted to do. And this is how he came up creating the, the iPhone and after the, the, the process where he improved it. Well, it's the idea that yeah. everything is in your imagination yeah. until it actually gets created. Yeah. Somebody had the idea to create this table, but it started with an idea. Yeah. On how to create this table, exactly. and then this idea, this table came to formation, and we called it a table. Exactly, um, exactly. And so, so you actually help people form yeah. a lot in businesses, but then individually, yeah, how to create their image. To be, to Sorry be, to be bouncing around all over. To be places. unique, actually, and, and to, to be find your, yeah, and to find your uniqueness, you need also to be creative. So I have sort of universal advice to improve your image and improve the way you, you feel about yourself inside out by wearing, for instance, basic clothing, classic and, and uh, tailored clothing. To, to, but creativity comes with mixing and matching things and bringing some yes. colors, bringing some of your personality. You don't need to be, you know, all neon, neon red or neon whatever, you know, or having, you know, so, no, you can, you can have your own personality. I see that you are wearing a lot of beads and, and colored beads. I and, like earrings. And, and earrings they're probably, did you make them yourself? No, somebody gave them to me, actually. Thank you, um, my friend Marsha, somebody that I work with. She, somebody gave them to her and she said, I can't wear them but I know who can and <laughs> she gave them to me I was like thank you <laughs> yeah so it's very and, and it suits you very well because the, the way you dress you know it brings attention to your to your face as well so it's great so how do I incorporate creativity in anything actually so then there we go thank you for leading to the segue so second question how do you incorporate creativity into your life I think I'm as I said as I'm doing everything by it with passion it seems to me that I, I bring creativity in any uh, in anything. To so everything you do. Yes, and when I feel passionate, you know, I, you know, the way we we met, you know, <laughs> the way we, the, the the process that came that you know brought us here today is you know kind of crazy, right? Which yeah. So tell everybody. Yeah. Well, um, actually, I was reading an article on the internet. Uh, about uh, personal branding and, and the lady that was doing that is Jackie Patan Pantoliano. So shout Pantoliano. out to Jackie. Jackie. I love her. Hi, Thank you. Jackie. We love you. We love you. Thank you. And, and I find the, the, her writing very interesting. Then I looked on her internet and I searched for really? some information about her. So I went on a video, on YouTube video, and I said, well, I like the, the way she approached the, the, the topic. And I said, okay, what do I have to, to lose? I'm going to contact her. So I tried to, to, to 
search for her information. I find her contact details. I sent her an email. I think it was via Facebook because yeah. I, I think it's maybe Facebook, yes. Uh, or LinkedIn. I it was LinkedIn. It was LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Yeah. Okay, so I don't even remember because when I can't, you know, go through the, the, the window, the door, I, I try the window or I try the <laughs> whatever, you know, the air condition. Uh, okay. We are just talking about that. Her husband was here and we are saying that she was saying that she has so many ideas a lot of the times it gets like really big <laughs> yeah instead of focusing you know i'm, I'm not you know i'm i'm having trouble you know sometimes focusing like that so i'm, I'm more uh, <laughs> going you come back in yeah and then i can lead you to very far you know believe me it's getting people out of their comfort zone exactly yes and uh and one this is absolutely uh, Awesome, you know, because when when you are um, when you bringing this idea with people, you know, they come with all kinds of ideas. You you throw something, and then suddenly everybody, you know, it's brainstorming. Everybody's starting to, to which bring their own pieces, which is the whole point. Because I I believe, and just to finish the other thought, so Jackie connected us because Cattell reached out to her. So Jackie was like, I think you'd really like to meet this person, and I was like, Oh my God, I'm going to be in New York the same weekend. So here we go so which leads us next to each other but the whole I always had a passion for sharing stories and ever since I was a kid actually I I, I always had these thoughts that you pass a person and you literally brush by them and you're part of that person's life for that split second and I thought as a kid like obviously thinking about it more as an adult it's like you're the main character in your story and then there's all these supporting characters and these supporting characters can come in and they can come out however long they stay or don't yeah. stay but there are ones that really make impacts so I just kind of saw the world in that way almost like a film so this to me is like an amazing way to be able to share people's stories and inspire other people absolutely um, and bring it to a big wide audience and, and something that I'd like to add to that is that definitely you need to, to connect with people creativity it comes also with you know Launching something, starting with something, and you can't build anything with one brain. No. Yes. You need more brains, and this is how you find you find solutions. You know, brainstorming or masterminding with people. This is where you come with solutions and creative. And you come and, and big projects have come with not one person. Of course, one person had a dream, but. Yeah. In the end, the projects became reality because he had he surrounded himself with people with and like minded every, people who could like help minded to people yeah. exactly. So yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. So then, going to number three, why do you think creativity is important? Well, creativity is which is basically what we just said. Yeah, yeah. It's so it's so much fun. It's so and you connect with people really. Because when you have you noticed when you start a conversation with with an idea at a, at a cafe or whatever, have you noticed you start with one thing, one piece, and suddenly if you take notes, it becomes huge, and, and then this is it's it's a whole world of possibilities. Which actually you wouldn't even know this, but so my exactly. tagline is explore possibilities. Express yourself and expand your thinking. Yeah. So I don't think that we take enough time, personally, to explore exactly. ourselves and to really get to know ourselves because of myriad of reasons. Absolutely. A lot of people don't want to dive into that part or don't feel confident. And what Cattell does, if you're in Florida or wherever you are, self-image. <laughs> so I'm gonna tag, um, you know, more information onto this. But um, if people don't feel good about themselves, like we were saying earlier. Both outer and, and inner, and inner. inner. Even if you look, um, it's there's a book which I still need to read, but it's called Psycho Cybernetics. You know it? Oh yeah, definitely. So we're on the same page. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So the whole thing of you know, Absolutely. you could get plastic surgery yeah. and supposedly whatever that means, fix yeah. whatever you want to fix. But, but if, if you know, that's that's the whole thing. That's the whole point. And um, yeah, so you need to work first on, on yourself to, you know, 
uh, project, uh, the, the right image, and feel confident. And it, it, it has nothing to do with your type of body, your colors, your, your culture, your religion, you know. You have to learn to be yourself and to be confident with your and, and this is a learnable skill. This is a learnable skill. Surround yourself with like-minded people, people who, who appreciate you, who love you, who support you, and connect with people, even, you know, um, Three to five minutes per day, you know, that's, that's makes a feel difference. Good. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, you figure it sounds corny, but all those studies that have been done with like the plant that has classical music and the plant that's in like really loud, harsh music all the time, and which yeah. one thrives? Yeah. Obviously, if you surround yourself with stuff that makes you feel like crap, you're gonna feel like crap. Like it's that, and you're not gonna take the time to really discover you because you feel yeah so small. And in a world where things are going very, very fast, and we are. We live in a sort of individual, individualized society. People connect online virtually, and they don't take any more, you know, time to connect physically, which is so, so good. After you know, the, the, the benefit of you know having a face-to-face -face and in-person, you know, conversation is. Even five minutes, you know, and it, it can it can make your day. Really, it can make I mean, your day. I mean, I'm gonna I've, go I've just made I've just met, you know, police, and suddenly, wow! And this is like, I mean, it feels natural. It feels like I know absolutely, you. Absolutely, absolutely. Me too. <laughs> yeah, me too. So it's like it's just it's very natural. So there we go. Connect with people. Yeah. It's very very important. So on that note, thank you so much for taking the thank time. Thank you. Thank you. And for for all your audience who will be um, connecting or liking my Facebook page, yes. I will offer them a 30 minutes con free consultation. If so, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Perfect, perfect. So, Have a great day. <laughs> so if anybody wants to, thank you for watching. If you're catching the replay, hashtag replay. And um, if you want to, if you're open to a creative conversation, then uh, message me. And so happy. So bye from New York. Thank you. Bye-bye <laughs> from New York. <laughs> bye. bye.